my second album and uh, it's a 14 track album uh, so we are releasing one of uh, the jumps on the album the title track happy uh, so we are in Kenya to do a media tour and just you know drop the video drop the song who doesn't want to be happy you know I love East Africa so much so whenever I release something back home everybody has to know about it that's the main reason we are here I've not been away. Well, 2013, a uh, tragic incident happened. Uh, my mom, my adopted mother, uh, the woman who founded the organization I work with right now, we take care of over 4,600 orphan children, of some of which are ex-child soldiers back home. Unfortunately, she passed away in 2013. She's been my mother. She's, she's been my everything. And when she passed away, that really brought uh, hick in my heart something i couldn't recover from easily you know but then my spirit tells me every single day people go through hardships people go through mountains and valleys you understand so are you going to stay in that place or you you're going to wake up and do something about it you know so the song happy is basically a dedication to my late mom you know and everybody out there who just wants to be happy that's the reason i've been probably silent and then uh, working on a full album I didn't want to uh, come release a single, 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 you know, just let my people know we've been, you know, uh, in the background, but working, you know, it's a full album, a 14 track album, and uh, Happy is just one song, a title track of the album, that's what we've been working on. Uh, 11 songs is down, we have three to go of which one collaboration I'm doing with my brother DK. Yeah, and yeah, it's gonna be an amazing album. It's very versatile. My collaborations normally come from relationships. I'm not that kind of artist you would approach and say, hey, let's do a song together. You know, I have to know you, I have to relate with you. Uh, if you if you look at my collaborations for, from Alemba, Alemba has been my friend for quite some time. And when it was time, when it was right, is when we entered studio and did a song. And it was a big tune. Uh, of recent, I uh, think about three months ago, we released one with Rington. The song was called Party Leo. Rington is my brother from way, 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 way back. Way back when we were here with a group called Sauti. From back then, before I even became Exodus. You know, and DK has been a brother I've seen for a very, very long time. Loved his work. I've grown to see DK grow to become the artist he is. You know, he's one example of exactly what God can do. How God can change people. You know, and I think it's time. He's ready, I am ready, and we're ready to hit the studio and see what comes out. Uh, why would I be offended? To be on it, honestly speaking, I do not work for words. When they come, it's a plus. I am that artist who is out to inspire my kind. I grew up on the streets. I've been in the ghetto. And uh, that is my task. 
that is my ministry, it's my mandate, you understand, to encourage the people that think that life is given up on them, you know, they're born to be poor, they're born in a place where they can't grow, they will never be rich, they will never mount up to anything. I am an example. I have come from that place and God has done a work in me. So when I'm in studio, I'm thinking about people, I'm not thinking about awards. When they come, it's a plus and I appreciate, you know, but I'm not, I don't work for awards. I work to bless people. A few collaborations and more of solo. I've done collaboration with a, another colleague of mine, you know, uh, a brother I've actually seen grow, you know, he has an amazing testimony, his name is Geno Versatile. Uh, I've done a track with him, the song is called Born Again, a dancehall track, an amazing track, and then one with DK. Uh, I've done another collaboration with guys back home, uh, a big secular artist back home, you know, uh, and a few collaborations, but basically it's, it's me. I love to tell my story personally. I love to encourage my people personally. My story and general life, you know, and, and, uh, you know, and, 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 and my faith in God is what gives me hope and keeps me going and keeps me writing the music I write. And I'm glad it blesses the people that love it. Yeah. I love playing pool and uh, working out has become my added hobby as well. You know, uh, it's, it's very important you keep healthy body, spirit, mind and soul. So most of my evenings I'm in the gym actually, uh, uh, then in the night chilling with my friends. I love to learn. I didn't go to school, so everything I know, I've learned from people who are above me. I thank God for, you know, friends and people in higher places, you know. I grew up in a community where it was different ethnicities, so we all, what brought us together with, was English. My mom is a Luo from northern Uganda. My father is a half caste, half Italian, half Ugandan. So you see, it's very, very hard, you know, to have one language. But English brought us together. And I had a very, very good uh, kindergarten foundation. I went to the best kindergarten that was then in the country, you know, and I bless God for that. So English is something that we are acquainted with as East Africans. You know, we are colonized by the British. So English is a mandate. It is, you must speak it. He's my president, I love him. Yeah, 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 he brought peace in our country. He did, yeah. I voted for him, yes, I did. Yeah, there's so many of them, but I would look at Kirk Franklin as my best. You know the reason why? Because we share a similar story. I actually had the opportunity to meet him when I was in the US. I've performed with Kirk Franklin, I think, four times in East Africa here. One was actually here in Kenya, three times back home in Uganda. And uh, in 2013, I met with him downtown Dallas. We had gone on Daystar TV. We were there to raise money for a hospital back home. In Uganda, you know very well, 16 women die every single day because of child-related birth complications. You know, so before my mom passed away, we were actually in the US and we were able to raise $500,000 came back to Uganda and built a women's and children's hospital back at the foundation, which is actually helping the community. Yeah, and I met Kirk Franklin downtown in Dallas and we shared quite a lot. So he's my model, he's my inspiration. I look up to him even when I'm low, when I'm down, because Kirk Franklin was raised by his grandmother who didn't actually believe in him. You know, he was belittled, but he has turned out to be one of the men that has changed the face of gospel music worldwide. I'm an entertainer, I'm an artist, so you have to be in a place where you look good in everything. I just love to look good than wear a certain kind of way. You know, when I decide to go official, I kill it. When I decide to go casual, I kill it. When I decide to swag, I kill it. I think that's a personality of a performer. My favorite would be Gucci when it comes to clothing, but uh, you can't have 
that every other time. You know, it's very, very expensive and sometimes, you know, uh, I care about people than what I have to get for myself, you know. But I love to look good. If I find a shirt and it's not a designer but it looks good, I will wear it. I will wear it. You know, this is a Zara. You know, Zara is a cheap version of what you'd call Vogue. You understand? And they make some really, really nice pieces, you know. And sometimes when I travel, I buy, I buy from Zara. I buy from Gucci. I buy from Amani. I buy from uh, Prada. <laughs> I buy from different brands. I just, I love fashion. Mm -hmm. I love fashion, yeah. There has been many, to be quite honest, but um, the highlight is when I was called to perform at the Porter's house, Bishop T.D. Jex's worship place. That was like, oh, I used to watch this amazing man of God on TV, and here I am in his sanctuary, and I'm going to sing. It's in Dallas, Texas, yeah. And, 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 and that really... You know, it, it showed me how limitless God can be, you understand. How he can take you to a place where you don't even expect to go, <laughs> you know. I used to look at planes and I wondered what goes on up there. I have flown first class. I've never gone to school. You, 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 you know, God is very limitless. As long as we have faith and trust him and believe in what we do, the sky is not even the limit.